Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Launched in 10 pieces, as you see it here, back in 2017, this is the Romac OTA Insight Micro Rotor. Now, the specific 10-piece edition pertains to the model, the Insight, the case in rose, and the dial in Grand Faux Enamel Black. But people ask me, Tim, what is the best finishing I can get on a watch today? And I can think of a lot of watches of comparable quality that are slightly different in style, or even drastically different in style. You have Aaron Beche, you have... Recep Recepi, you have Philippe Dufour, you have the Grunefelds, you have Grubel Forcy, you have Laurent Ferrier, quite frankly, Chronometry Fernand Bertou, and then you also have Romain Gautier. And it's not just the fine finish, it's how much of it you get here and how open and visible it is on the dial side of the watch. I would throw Long und Heine in with that list, but they don't have the open dial and visible movement that Gautier has made a signature from the HM to the HMS to the Logical One, and of course this model launched in 2017. Taking a quick look at the case, it's 39.5 millimeters in diameter. It is only 12.7 millimeters thick, it's 48.1 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and 20 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist, my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see the lugs come nowhere near the edge of my wrist. It's a really good looking watch, and it's got a wonderful warmth to it, just screams LA, Miami, or the Riviera. The timepiece, as you can see, is low enough to fit underneath the cuff. In spite of the fact that the case does flare out a bit at the bezel, it'll still slide easily underneath the dress cuff. Again, I think this watch is suitable for a wrist small as 13 and a half to 14 centimeters circumference. The strap is rectangular scale alligator leather, large rectangular, dark brown. It's got a little bit of bolstering. It's got a folded edge, calfskin on the bottom. This is a brand new Romag OTA factory strap. And you can see that the buckle, which is in rose gold, is designed to emulate the multiplicity of sharp interior angles where bevels meet inside the movement. You can also see that there's a thoughtful detail here. Now, this is almost certainly bought from a supplier, but it's good that Romain Gautier requested it, this elevated bridge, so that the bridge of the buckle is actually higher than the stanchions alongside. That allows the strap to sit flat and flush inside the buckle rather than stacking up and adding thickness on the wrist. The case is just gorgeous. You could see how it actually bows in a little bit. It has a concave profile rather than a sheer profile. The lugs, as you can see, welded on. The case and the lugs made separately. And then the lug is inserted. The two pieces are welded together. And then by hand finishing, all evidence of the welded joint is removed. That's how you get these remarkably dramatic creases between the lug and case. The bezel, as you will appreciate at close range, has a little bit of a concave inward step and then an outward domed profile. So it's a double-stepped bezel, both concave and convex. The lug hoods are polished, and you can also see their ends are slightly faceted. We have a Romain Gautier crown that features a little bit of a enamel covering over a combination of media blasting and polish, and then a shallow knurling that's relatively sharp and easy to grip, allowing you to wind the watch with ease. Pull it out, now you can adjust the time. The dials are made on gold bases for the sub-seconds and the hours and minutes. On top of those gold bases, vitreous or glass-based enamel is applied, fired, and applied again up to 20 times, fired up to 20 times at 800 degrees centigrade. Now, it's relatively easy to make white Grand Faux enamel. Black shows every flaw and remains rare in the industry, so it's nice to see here. The movement is made primarily of a material called Maichot, or German silver, more commonly, nickel and copper and zinc, and then it has a nickel anthracite coating to give it this black sheen. It's really more anthracite, which is a color between gray and black. We have satination across the top of the bridges. We have media blasting on the base plate. You can see even the name plate, or the logo plate, I should say, has been hand finished, mirror beveled on its side, satinated across its top with a black polished screw. You can see all these screws are proprietary and made in house. And they are applied so that tools can issue more torque to fix each screw than is possible with the lesser surface area of a flathead. Now we have dramatic bevels. You can see they are a mile wide. I see many instances of two bevels meeting, creating that sharp inward angle that is one of the most difficult finishing feats in all of watch decoration. But you can see 
Romain Gauthier does not stop there. In the finest tradition of the Valais du Jeu, where the factory is located, we also have sharp outward angles where two bevels meet. So we have the inward angle, but we also have the sharp outward points. We have a hand-finished micro rotor, which you can see is solarized and then beveled on its edge. It winds an 80-hour power reserve. We have a durable setup here, a full balance bridge to better brace the balance staff, a free-sprung architecture, again, to better brace against shock, and a balance of Romain Gautier's own design with variable inertia bolts on its rim. The wheels are also of Romain Gautier's own design. And when you flip everything over, Again, we have more of those mile-wide mirrored bevels. We have some black polished steel components. That's the decoupling system for the rotor so that the rotor decouples when you wind the watch manually. You can see the circle within a circle motif on all the wheels. These are made in-house at Romain Gautier. And you'll notice that on the Haute Horlogerie Chanel products, these wheels are present. And that is correct because Romain Gautier makes components for Chanel, but also does a lot of under-the-table engineering for the high horology Chanel watches. And of course, Chanel is a stakeholder in the Romain Gautier company. This watch, one of 10, you can see, I covered up the individual number, but guess the number between one and 10, and you're probably right. We have beautiful horizontal satination across the bridges, more media blasting on the base plates. You could see that there are wheels atop the two barrels, the two barrels in series. So across the 80-hour power reserve, after, for example, 24 hours or 48 hours, you don't get a big drop drop off in balance amplitude because twin barrel movements are better at releasing the energy gradually. All of this beats away at four hertz or eight beats per second. And you can see that the wheels sit on top of a solarized mainspring barrel caps. The mainspring barrels are made of steel. So we have rose gold, we have the violet of pivot jewels. We have the nickel anthracite of the German silver, which has been coated. And then we have the blinding silver sheen of those steel mainspring barrels. Reach out. To team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details, and know this, uncommonly for a dress watch, this is rated to 50 meters water resistance.